Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed, and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to read file path from SQL Server table and then move those files to a destination folder using SSIS. So recently, I got a question from one of my subscriber, Gushal, and he asked that I'm trying to look through my files names in a table on SQL Server and, for example, copy files from backup folder to destination. So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. On the file system in the D files location, I got these four CSV files emails.csv, this one emails underscore new, emails underscore old. Okay, and I want to move all these files into a backup folder. Okay, so the backup folder is empty as of now, but I do not want to directly move the files. But what I want is that I want to move only those files, those are active and whose name is available in this particular SQL table. So I got a SQL table file config. And in the file config, I got a flag, active flag. So if the active flag is one, then we will move those files to a destination folder. Okay. So this is the create table statement for the file config. And this is the insert query for the file config. And maybe I can share this script with you. And as well as I can share these four files as well with you so that you can test it in your environment as well. So we will read the file path from this particular SQL table and we'll move those files to a uh, backup folder on this location d files backup okay so i think let's start creating the ssis package for this one so this is my blank ssis package which i will be using today and because we need to get all the file path from this particular sql table and then just move one file at a time so we want to iterate through all the records from a sql server table so we will be using a for each loop container with adu enumerator and then we need the file path ssis variable as well and the dest folder path variable as well okay so let's go back to the ssis package and create the appropriate variables here so let me click on the variables pen and let me try creating the variables here so the first variable that i will create is the object variable obj file path and the data type will be object so this will hold all the file path into a single variable object variable okay now another variable i will call is file path and the data type will be a string here and this will hold one file path at a time so when the for each loop containers iteration will run then this variable will hold one file path at a time and then we can easily move that file into the destination folder using the file system task so we have declared two variables now the third variable we want is the dest folder so i can create a folder named dest folder and the data type will be a string and we need to give the location of the destination folder so i can copy the destination folder location from here and i can set the value as this location so we have declared all the three variables now i can close this pin so the first task that i will create is the execute sql task and in the execute sql task we will get the file path to be moved so i can call it as get file path and i can right click and i can configure this one from the connection I need to make a connection to the test database onto the SQL Server 2019 instance because our table exists inside the test database. Okay, and the SQL Server instance is the 2019 instance. So we already have a connection to that database. So I will select this connection and I can click on OK. Now under the SQL statement, I need to write the query which can return me the file path for all the available files which are active here. So this query is returning the three columns but I'm only interested in the file path. So I will select only the file path column from here and I can execute this one. So this will return me only the file path. So I can copy this one and I can paste the query here. Now click on OK. From the result set, we will select the full result set because it is returning more than one value. Now I can go to the result set. I can click on add. From the result set name, I will select the zero because it is returning just one column and now from the variable name, I will select the obj file path because this will hold the multiple values from the SQL server table. Now I can click on OK. Now we need to use the for each loop container here. So I can just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and I can connect the execute SQL task with the for each loop container. So the for each loop container will be used to iterate through multiple records from the SQL server table. So we have the four records here. So it will iterate through one record at a time. So I can just right click and configure the for each loop container here from the collection from the enumerator type. I will select the for each loop ADU enumerator and I will select the object variable here. Now from the variable mapping, I will select the file path. 
so now what will happen for each iteration this particular value like first value it will be assigned to the file path SSIS variable then the second value will be assigned to the file path SSIS variable and so on so I can click on ok now for each record the for each loop container will be executed and whatever task you will put inside the for each loop container that task will also get executed so we can use the file system task to move the file from one location to another location and I can right click the file system task and I can configure this one so from the operation we will select the move file operation because we want to move the file now from the source connection is source path variable so we can set it to true because our source file path is contained inside the file path SSIS variable so from the source variable I will select the file path SSIS variable so this is the file path SSIS variable now for the destination connection it is asking is destination path variable so we can set it to true because we have created a destination folder for holding the destination folder path so we have created a folder dest folder and which hold this particular location d file backup location okay override destination so it is saying that if the file already exists in the destination so do you want to overwrite it so we can set it to true so now what will happen if a file already exists then it will override that file in the destination folder so we have configured the file system task here and now I can click on ok so now our SSIS package is ready and it can move all the files whose file path is available in the file config SQL server table where active flag is equal to 1 and the files are available at this location so those files will be moved to the backup folder ok so now what I can do I can just open the SSIS package and I can click on the start button so this should start running the package so the package ran fine and if I open the D files location so all the files have been moved and you can check all the files inside the backup folder so I think this is pretty straightforward that you can easily move the files from one folder to another folder and the file path can be stored inside the SQL server table yes yeah, so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much